What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be covering a basic concept slash kind of fundamental concept of the SAT math section and that is the SAT thinking and how to really decipher a problem and use what you know to get the problem correct. This problem right here was straight from my Discord group. If you haven't joined, then link in the description below. But it's saying if x squared equals y cubed, for what value of z does x to the 3z equal y to the 9? Now, I want you guys to pause the video right here and try to do this on your own. And if you cannot do it, then watch the rest of the video. If you can do it, still watch the rest of the video to see how to do it the most, the fastest way possible. So right here, you see that x squared equals y cubed, okay? So what I would do first is just take out the important information. So x squared equals y cubed, x to the 3z equals y9, okay? So now, I'm trying, to, what I'm trying to do is find z, right? Now, what do I know about uh, these two, right? And in reference to this, what do I know about these three? Because these three have no variables, right? This has a variable, so I can't, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. But these three don't. I know that a power to a power, so y cubed to the three is equal to y to the three times three is equal to nine. So that's equal to y to the nine. I also know that y cubed, oh, is equal to x squared. So this means that if I just sum in x squared for y cubed, I get x squared cubed should equal y to the nine, right? And let's simplify this. This becomes x to the six, because power to the power, you multiply two times three is six, is equal to y to the nine, correct? And now what was I told by this relation? x to the three z equals y to the nine. So this equals x to the three z. Let's just compare the x's, same basis. x to the 6 equals x to the 3z. Same basis, you set the exponents equal to each other. 6 equals 3z. And from here, divide by 3. So z equals 2. So arrow z equals 2. And what people may do at this point is they're going to leave the problem and go on. You can do that, but that's not, that's not good practice. Good practice is self-checking to make sure this answer is correct. Really quickly, this takes five, like two seconds. Plug in z back to here. Uh, x to the 3 times 2 is 6. x to the 6 equals y to the 9. Um, make sure over here that was set. x to the 6 equals y to the 9, which is equal to x to the 3z. And that basically means that everything checks out.